Financial institutions around the world claim to lose more than $2 billion each year to card fraud, like the ATM skimming. But what do we know to avoid falling for these rackets? Well, Paul Oliveria from Trend Micro teaches us how as he joins us this morning. Good morning to you, Paul. Good morning, Hillary. Nice to be here. Welcome to Daybreak. Thanks for joining us. Okay, this is such a hot topic because there have been mm -hmm. so many cases lately that of ATM skimming. Now, how, how does this happen? Well, um, think of the ATM and your um, PIN as the username and password yeah. of like the ATM. Let, account, like an right? email equivalent. Like an email, okay, okay. that's correct. So what criminals do or the scammers do is that they want to try getting that information mm -hmm. in the ATM card as well as their PIN number. All right. So what they do, so the, the term skimming comes from the word to skim mm -hmm. because what they do is that on the pins, uh, on the slot where the card is usually um, inserted, yeah. they insert something on top of it, also huh. a card reader, such that when you insert the, the ATM card, it, so reads it, off it the also reads the information of the, the magnetic stripe in mm -hmm. the ATM card. Do, I mean, do they always attach a card reader so that they can get the, I'm sorry, do they always attach like the, there's a gadget they put on the keypad, right? Mm -hmm. To pick up the That's pen. Correct. Is that, does they always do that or sometimes just the card reader? Uh, it works on two ways. So okay. one is the card reader definitely because they want to get the first um, factor, which is your username, so right. to speak, the, okay. the card details. So they usually put that on the card slot. Mm -hmm. Now in terms of like the pin code wherein they want to, the password, so either they use the another an overlay for the, 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 keypad, the keypad or it looks almost like the original yeah, right? so it, okay. it should fit properly so that okay. so that users uh, the normal users will not be you know um, be suspicious they won't suspect anything yeah. yeah so either that or another uh, method that you're doing is using cameras so they insert like very very tiny cameras within the ATM mm -hmm. kiosk or in the ATM machine perhaps other than the under the, the reader itself mm -hmm. or on other uh, areas of the, the machine now normal uh, cash machines they they, they really do have like a camera, right? Yes. That's a security uh, feature. How do we how do we know to find them? Like, is there a way for us to figure out like, oh, this keypad is fake, it's totally rigged? Yeah. Is there is there a way for us to find that's out? Kind of do difficult. we poke around and lift stuff? <laughs> because the guard might think we're the ones installing. I know that's, that's <laughs> you know very I mean? difficult. So um, usually, so um, right now, especially right the how criminals do it they want to be as you know as nondescript as possible right. but some of their telltale signs like for example um, if they're like some holes within the the, the, the ATM machines as well okay. because it's probably because you know they there's drilled a into it maybe. Camera, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the card slot so it's mm -hmm. kind of like if it's wobbly or something like that so something that is kind of like put on top of it mm -hmm. or, or protruding or protruding yeah, more than usual. Um, for the keypads as well so there can be sometimes you know it's difficult to punch mm -hmm. sometimes also protruding mm -hmm. so well, these are um, like the usual signs of like the normal or typical ATM scheming um, um, the um, mechanisms, attacks or yeah. mechanisms. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 really scary because you mm -hmm. know you go and you work really hard for your money. You yeah. you try to pay your bills and you know buy your needs, and that next thing correct. you know, someone has stolen all your money. Mm -hmm. um, well, how do we okay so so let's say this has happened to us um mm -hmm. let's say we've gotten money stolen from us how would the banks respond to this would they be willing to help us out or will they say well sorry you're <laughs> well, uh, out of luck yeah possibly you know, the banks will have some mechanisms to to mm -hmm. to to save like the, right. the customers but most of the time i guess because this is kind of apart from the the bank so this is not within the institutions it's usually spread out it's very difficult mm -hmm. so sometimes uh, depending on the the regulations of the bank itself so they have some um perhaps some um, protection for yeah. the customers mm -hmm. but uh that's why you know um information is really important for for customers and banks alike so they have to disseminate that these types of um scams are yeah. are happening right now. Uh, have you heard of cases where the banks have actually helped? Because I, I would imagine that as a customer, you would think, you know, this is your ATM, this is your machine, so mm -hmm. you should be able to protect it from scammers um, doing something to it, you know? Yeah. And, and me as a consumer or as a customer, I've lost my money and my savings, which they should be protecting. Have you heard of cases where the bank actually helped retrieve what was lost? Well, um, personally, I have not heard of mm -hmm. that. But what I do know is that certain banks, like here in the Philippines as well, locally, what they do is that they, they have some um, services like for example mm -hmm. notifications if you know I myself is enrolled in, a, in, a, in an email notification oh. if uh, some every if, withdrawal if, if I withdraw okay. something so I get an email 24 hours later or something mm -hmm. like that 
So that's kind of the mechanisms that they've had. That's a long time. Place. 24 hours, they can do so much, right? <laughs> okay, so how do you guys at Trend Micro help us against, you know, fraud and ATM mm -hmm. skimming? Yeah. Well, for the ATM skimming itself, so definitely, so this is something that's kind of like outside our mm -hmm. expertise because we are more focused into the malware and online scams. Right. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, also, there are certain developments based on our research at Trend Micro that ATM skimmers are also including malware now because, Goodness. you know, ATMs are essentially Windows or OS right. uh, running. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So there may come a time, perhaps in the future, that in, there's no need for the cameras because you know the key logger is within the system as uh -huh. well. So in terms of the best practices, so apart from information or uh, information dissemination, so I guess since this is like a more like physical um, attack or physical mm -hmm. tactic, right? So they also have to, the user should also still uh, make sure they have proper best practices. Like for example, mm -hmm. not keep their eggs in one basket. You know, they have yeah, so have separate, separate accounts, accounts for right? ATM, yes, mm -hmm. and for the savings. And that's why they say it's so important to cover your hand, but mm. that's kind of pointless if the keypad is rigged. Like that's you, right. you've lost it yep. immediately. And there's this now the, the new mechanism right now, there's like a shield within yeah. the ATMs, right? So apparently they can also insert the cameras there. That is so So yeah, it's very Life very is difficult. so hard. There's so much evil in this world. Okay, well how what what other tips do you guys have for us, um, for the viewers especially, mm -hmm. on how to protect ourselves from ATM skimming? Okay. So apart from like not keeping your eggs in one basket yeah. and being informed as well, right? Um, one of my, my, my main practice myself is that I usually withdraw from the ATM if there's like a branch of a bank over there. Because oh, I'm basically, okay. you know, well, I'm kind of paranoid like that. So at least there's a security <laughs> over there. I'm the same way, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so like um, withdrawing uh, from ATMs like on public places mm -hmm. is kind of like my last resort. Yeah, like the dark streets, especially late Correct. at night. Yeah, right. so they should also be, you know, make sure that they're in a well-lighted area. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of traffic, perhaps, you know. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes queuing in ATMs is actually much more um, safe. Right. Because, you know, if it's like kind of like uh, a standalone, no yeah. one's going there. It's very, very easy for, yeah, for skimmers. What about to... malls, uh, the ATMs inside shopping malls? Uh -huh. Would you say they're relatively safer? Yeah, relatively safe. There's just light, hot, a lot, um, high food traffic. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, the ATM kiosks are also within the, the, air, uh, the, the site the of vicinity, the security. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. So, yeah. Okay, well, the, you know, it's, it's a scary situation to be in, but we're glad there are folks like you guys who, you know, help us become more aware of this yes. and maybe <laughs> battle all the ATM skimmers out there yep. <laughs> well thank you so much paul for joining us this morning and you know enlightening us on on uh, this kind of of situation well there you have it paul oliveria from trend micro